pastor of a large ministry, who just a week ago was energetically preaching at his pulpit, now crawl on his hands and knees. Let's hear from him. I come from Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya, and I'm, uh, my name is Pastor Frederick Ouma Okuku. I'm a pastor and I used to pray for people. Uh, after preaching on Sunday, I had, I had an attack on our, on our pulpit on our church, which I had some pain on my left ankle oh right now i can't walk i can't do nothing i'm i can't preach now i'm sitting down i'm just sleeping i am uh, i can't do anything i can't walk i'm just sleeping the whole day in fact i feel headache now this is the word and repentance ministry in nairobi you are watching clips from their recording of what took place during some of their Sunday services, led by Pastor Frederick Okuku. Pastor Frederick regards his ministry as a deliverance ministry. You can see how he conducts himself among the congregation, and how he interacts with different people with different problems. Notice how he uses physical strength, pushing, pulling, and holding the different individuals in an attempt to deliver them. But the Bible says, It is not by power, or by might, but by my Spirit, says the Lord. This was how the services at the Word and Repentance Ministry had gone on for some time. But one day, Pastor Frederick met with a stiff opposition. During the service, a woman possessing seven evil spirits came forward, but this was not the end of the encounter. After the demons had warned Pastor Frederick to leave them alone, when he persisted, they threatened to destroy him. Let's watch the encounter between Pastor Frederick and the demon-possessed woman. Come out, come out quickly, come out, every sickness. Contrary spirit, I command you to come out. Every sickness, I command you to come out. Look at my eyes, not there, not there. Look at me. We are sending the Lord. 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 We are do you know me? Open your eyes. Do you know me? Do you know me? Open your eyes. No. Come on, 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 come that night after the service, he was attacked by the evil spirits and found himself unable to walk the next morning. For the first time, it dawned on Pastor Frederick that he was on a dangerous mission. Immediately, Pastor Frederick set about making his way to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos, Nigeria, in search of solution. On Sunday, Pastor Frederick was assisted to the prayer line to receive prayer from Prophet T.B. Joshua. And I have come to God's presence God, today, me. I want to walk. the arena I of want liberty to, walk, to be set free. I, I could not walk. There's some merchants who came in the church and said they have come to attack me. They said they are coming to attack you in the church? Yes. They say they will attack me. And, and they attack you now? Yes. Yeah, walk and let us see how you walk. There's a pastor from Kenya. This is how I was going to toilet. It was hard for me. Oh, Father, let your name be glorified. Come on, look here. Stand up. Just stand up. That was the man who could not rise to his feet without okay, someone there. supporting him. 
about three to four people brought him here today all the way from Kenya il reçoit la délivrance de la puissance du Saint-Esprit regardez watch your screen and see what is happening total deliverance from that severe evil attack right now the man of God said walk in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus I cannot walk I cannot walk thank you Jesus I'm healed Thank you, Jesus. Man of God, I sold the church keyboard for me to come here. People were contributing money. You sold the keyboard in the church? The church keyboard I sold for me to come. To buy tickets? To buy, because they're fighting even financially. They fight they say, financially? I help people. I help people. No, 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 no. They, they are not fighting. I think uh, your anointing your anointing is questionable. So I don't want you to say anything against the anointing of God. Yes, sir. Okay, you begin yes. to tell me that because you help people, that is why they attack you. You you attack financially, you attack health widely. Who are you? Am I not helping people? Your calling is questionable. So we have to now sit down Let's, and ask I'm God, here, Lord Jesus, His mercy and His favor. So you have passion for His work. And uh, I know this is what you want, your desire now. We pray together, okay? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. What you are saying now is blasphemy. Forgive me, sir. You say God to forgive you. Forgive Never me, you sir. say because you help people, that is why you are attacked. Where is Jesus then? Is it your power? No. If you are attacked, they attack Jesus. If they beat you, they beat Jesus. It's true. If you are really from Jesus. Yes. <sighs> I'm not saying you are not have a calling, but there's something wrong somewhere. So don't complain again. You help people, that's why they attack you. It's a blasphemy. Thank you. Okay. We are not doing this for any reason, but a lesson for me, I'm number one. A lesson for you, number two. Several sons of Skeva, like I told you, this use of the name Jesus inspires them to try using the same name as an incantation. When they were saying the name of Jesus, God of Paul, whom Paul called, and Satan said to them, we know Jesus, we know God of Paul, who are you? This is exactly what happened here. You may be doing it for two, three, four, five, seven years. But when the repercussion come, it will be so great that people can see that, look, with what we are doing in the name of Jesus, hey, why this? After that, we now pray for our pastor and tell the pastor here, he's calling. He should not go beyond his calling. Preach the gospel, sing wonderful song God has given you. When it is time to pray, offer the prayer and leave them for their faith. Don't call anybody out and begin to have one-on-one -on -one prayer. It's dangerous if you don't have that calling. When it is time for deliverance, pray, call the power of God to descend on, on those contrary spirit. It will happen. Not going to their means is a different anointing. It's great. Going to their means and begin to have personal encounter with these people is the most dangerous thing. So when you have anointing to provoke them, where well, you can go and provoke them. When it comes to responsibility from God, the more your faithfulness, the more your responsibility. And if your faithfulness is reducing, your responsibility also will. My pastor, this is what I wanted to know. We pray with you, congregation, pray with you. We pray for your ministry. Your ministry will remain. Nothing will happen to your ministry. 
because what happened to you is to strengthen your desire. It's not meant to destroy your ministry. This is time to be closer to God so that you can hear God louder. Before now, you hear God loud, but not louder. When you get back to Kenya, now start trusting in God's authority, not majority. Closer to God, go to the mountain, keep a place, prayer, prayer, prayer. Your life must be full of prayer, prayer, more devotion, more commitment, prayer, 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 warrior in the church. The first place we have to prosper in the church is our spiritual life. My name is Sir Pastor Frederick Okuku from Kenya. And uh, I really love man of God. Since the beginning, I saw his tape and uh, I started watching him on Emmanuel TV. And uh, I inspired his ministry. I really like what he was doing. I arrived here, could not walk. I was taken to the, to the room. It was difficult for me to walk. But after prayer, it was like a twink of an eye. I received my healing. And not, not only that, the, my wife called me from Kenya, told me that my son, one of my sons could not go to the toilet, she could not pass the urine, so I must help her for prayer. I said, no, I will not going to hide. I'm going to tell man of God to set away before people. Then he said, okay. He stretched his hand and told me to go and call back. Immediately when I called back, my wife told me the boy is okay. He has passed urine. I want to warn men of God not to imitate wait for God's time because God's time is the best time. Stop imitating any man of God. If God has called you, just do it the way he has called you. And God will not, God will not start a fight and leave it. He will fight until the end. Let us pray for our evangelists. And before the prayer, like I have said, a lesson to every one of us that don't say Amen. Because somebody say in the name of Jesus. Say amen because you believe. Tell your neighbor, don't say amen. Don't say amen. Because pastor say in the name of Jesus. Don't say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Because, you because you believe. Don't say amen. Don't because TV Joshua say in the name of Jesus. Say amen. Because you believe. God will begin to use you to utter the deep things of God in Jesus' name. Stretch your hand and pray for Pray for the church. Pray for the evangelists. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Stand up, evangelists. Stretch your hand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Watch your screen. In Jesus' name. Touch it forward. Are witnessing what the Bible says. Anointing is transferable. It's a spiritual fortification. Thank you, Lord.